I can't believe it's been eight years this month since we met. I remember our initial introduction at Henry's Rooftop in Charleston. A beautiful blonde haired, blue eyed girl with such a warm personality approached me. I was hooked at first sight. That April night is when our love story began. So I don't know that uh, preparation could have ever, ever gotten me ready for this. It was a long, long walk, and Dusty, you did not help at the end of the aisle there, okay? Can I just go? <laughs> oh my gosh. But Dust, if I must choose anybody, you are my man. You are my man. So Dusty, you have been part of the family the day we met you, but today it's official, but to me it's like inconsequential. You and I have a great friendship, we go out for a beer, we go out with your dad, so um, I can't ask for more and Dusty, I would choose you, so the fact that you were at the end of the aisle makes it okay for me. <laughs> Everybody's heard the story of how they met, so I'll give you the boys version real quick. <laughs> One night he calls me, it's super late. He goes, hey, I just met the love of my life. I go, Dusty, you're on a bachelor party. That's a stripper. <laughs> he goes, no, 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 no. He goes, her name's Tara. I go, that's not her real name, Dusty. Get out of there. <laughs> he goes, I'm serious. He goes, I'm serious, Todd. Anyway, he keeps talking about it. We're showing Instagram photos, just how you do it. She's beautiful. He goes, I'm going back up for a wedding. I said, go. I think all the boys agreed with us. They said, you need to go. Anyway, Tara, you came down to Jax. We met you. You were awesome. I think I can speak for everybody when I say you blended right in. You're one of the guys now. You know how important the boys are to Dusty, and you know how important the boys are for everyone. So we love you. We are so happy for both of you. My Dusty, I will never forget the day in early May of 2013 when you drove 10 hours to be my date at a wedding after only meeting me once. And during the ceremony, you asked my mom if she would like for her daughter to get married in a church one day. Fast forward eight years later, and here we are, getting married in a church. 2020 threw us some obstacles, but it has taught me that love truly is patient, and I'm so happy to finally be standing here today in front of you and all of our loved ones. Our story is unique, and I love how our paths crossed right when God knew we both needed each other the most. I've always believed that everything happens for a reason, and I believe I was meant to meet you that Saturday night in Charleston on April 20th, 2013. Yes, I remember the dates of absolutely everything. Oh my God. <laughs> so I've had 29 years to prepare for this, honey. And it just isn't enough time, but you look so happy, so beautiful today, that it's just all worth it. Hi, honey, you look beautiful. I'm trying to hold it together. <laughs> if I lose it now, uh, thank you for walking me by my side today in the whole morning. Just remember all the three little girl. Okay, that's it. <laughs> you know you're my favorite, right? <laughs> These past eight years were filled with ups and downs, but you never stopped believing in me. I tell this to everyone, and it still holds true today. You are the sweetest and most caring person I've ever met. I promise to love you with all my heart. I promise to support you through any and all of your endeavors. I promise to take care of you whenever in need. You make me laugh, you make me feel whole, but most importantly, you make me so happy. Since meeting you, my life has been the most memorable. I love our adventures, our cozy nights in, our date nights, and whether you want to admit it or not, our mutual love for The Bachelor, Southern Charm, and Summer House. <laughs> you embody everything I'd ever want in a partner. You're caring, compassionate, supportive, thoughtful, and even though you may not think it, funny. I'm a much better person and man when I'm with you. You're my rock, and I can't wait to experience life with you. Dusty, you now make this your bride. Mr. and Mrs. Dusty Sykes. Dusty, 
your love withstood long distance, career changes, and everything in between, and you two made it look easy. I look up to your love and strength, so let's raise a glass to the happy couple. Cheers, Tara and Dusty. I love you guys. Please raise your glasses and join me in wishing Tara and Dusty a long, healthy, happy,